Hello everyone. Today let's learn how to solve quadratic equations by factorization or splitting of the middle term. So friends, any quadratic equation can be written in the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where x is the variable and these a, b and c are nothing but constants. For example, let us take this equation 3x plus 2x square minus 2 equal to 0. So as you can see, this is a quadratic equation because the degree is 2. But is it arranged in the same format as this? No, right? So the first step in solving quadratic equations is to arrange the equation in the same form, friends. First, the x square term should come, then the x term should come, and then the constant, see, like this. So comparing these two equations, what is the value of a? Yes, a will be 2, b will be 3 and c will be minus 2. Now, in the factorization method, first we will find the product of a and c friends. So, what is here? a into c, 2 into minus 2 which is minus 4. So, this is called the product and we have to find those two factors of the product minus 4 which when added will give us the middle term or the b term which is 3. Okay, so this is the factorization method friends. So, because we are finding the factors of minus 4 this method is known as factorization now how do we find the factors that is what the game is all about and depending on how we find the factors we are going to discuss four cases friends so that we can easily find out the factors of the given quadratic equation so this equation which we have taken this will come under the first case for the first case just look at the product friends okay minus 4 so just ignore the minus sign you will have 4 now subtract it from the middle term which is 3 4 minus 3 is 1 so whenever the difference between the product and the middle term is 1 then always first try out the number 1 and the number itself which is the product so which is here 4 okay always try out these two factors because you know that every number has definitely two factors one and the number itself now because it's minus four we need to write minus one here and plus four then only the product will give us minus four or you can also have this option one and minus four now let us add these two remember we have to add the two factors and we should get the middle term one minus four when we add we'll get it as minus three which is not what we need we need plus 3 so this factor combination won't work let's try minus 1 plus 4 when you add it definitely you will get plus 3 which is what you need friends see in just a few seconds we have easily got the required factors we'll write it over here so we are going to write the middle term as minus x plus 4x minus 2 equal to 0. See, this way. So, because we are dividing the middle term, we are breaking the middle term into two terms, this is also known as splitting of the middle term method. Okay, friends? So, I hope till here it's clear. Now, what do we do? It's very easy. You take out whatever can be taken out common. So, here it is x. You will get 2x minus 1. Plus, here you can again take out x. You will get 2x minus 1 equal to 0. As you can see here, 2x minus 1 again can be taken common. This is what you get. Now, this means that either 2x minus 1 is 0 or x plus 2 is 0. Okay. So, this means x is equal to half or x is equal to minus 2. Obviously, x cannot be half and minus 2 at the same time, right? And now, this is the solution of the given quadratic equation. As you know, these values of x are also known as roots of the quadratic equation. Okay, so this was the first case, friends. So here in this case, the difference between the product and the middle term should be 1. Okay, that's when you apply the first case. Now let's come to the second case. Now here is the quadratic equation. Again, like the previous question, we have to first find the product a is 8, b is 2, c is minus 15. So the product will be a into c, which is 8 into minus 15, that is minus 120, friends. So shall we see if case 1 works here? For case 1, the difference between the product, just ignore the minus sign, 120 minus the middle term. 
is definitely not equal to 1. Only if the difference is 1, you can use the first case. See, this is a multiple of 10. So, always try out this combination of factors, friends. Just split that 120 as 12 and 10 and try it out. Now, remember, friends, always take the sign into consideration, okay? This is minus 120. So, we have to write it as minus 12 and plus 10. That is one combination. Or you can write it as plus 12 and minus 10. Okay. Now, let's see. We have to get the middle term as 2. So, when I take minus 12 plus 10, I'll get minus 2. But what I need is plus 2. So, this will not work. Now, plus 12 minus 10. Yes, definitely we'll get plus 2. And that's what we need, friends. So, see, in a very quick way, we have got the desired factors. So, whenever you have multiple of 10, definitely try out this combination first. So, let me write the middle term as plus 12x minus 10x minus 15 equal to 0. Now, it's the same case friends of uh, taking out common. So, I'll just do that a bit quickly. So, friends, these are the two values of x. So, this is the solution of the quadratic equation or I can say that these are the roots of the quadratic equation. Now, let's quickly discuss the third case. So, here is our quadratic equation friends. Again, let's take the product of 9 and 4. You will get it as 36. Now, remember it's plus 36 here. Now, we need to find the factors of 36 so that when you add them, you will get the answer as 15, which is the middle term. So, friends, case 1, will it work? Let's check it out. You need to take 36 minus 15. Is the difference 1? No, right? You can't use case 1. What about case 2? Now, for case 2, it has to be a multiple of 10. Definitely 36 doesn't qualify. So, now comes case 3. Here, you have to do the actual prime factorization friends. So, what you do is using prime numbers factorize 36. So, I'll get like this. Remember to use only prime numbers and do it in increasing order of the prime number. So, first try with 2 then with 3. That way you will get a foolproof way of finding out the factors. Okay. So, this is the prime factorization of 36. Now, let's try one by one. Now, 2 into 18 definitely is 36. So, 2 and 18 are factors. Let's add them up. Will you get 15? No, right? So, this option doesn't work. Now, let's try 2 into 2, which is 4. And just multiply it with this 9, friends. See? 4 and 9. See, these are the two factors of 36. When I add them, will I get 15? No, I'll get 13. So, this factor combination doesn't help us. Let's come to the next one. 2, 2s are 4. 4, 3s are 12. And multiplied by 3, friends. See? So, this whole thing multiplied by the remaining thing over here. Okay? 12 into 3 is 36. And definitely 12 plus 3 will also give me 15. See? Very, very quickly we have got the factors by prime factorization. So, 9x square plus 12x plus 3x plus 4 equal to 0. Now, the same story again. So, let me do that quickly. So, friends, these are the two values of x. So, in a very easy way, friends, you can find out the roots of this equation. Now, let's come to the last case, which is case 4. So, friends, in the fourth case, let's consider this quadratic equation. Can you tell me what is the product of a and c? Yes, it will be minus 210. Remember, always consider the sign, friends, okay? Now, minus 210. Now, can we use the first case? Definitely, I cannot use because when I subtract 210 with the middle term, which is b, I will not get the difference as 1. So, I don't even need to find the answer. I know that the difference will not be 1. Okay, so case 1 will not work. What about case 2? Yes, case 2 will work because it's a multiple of 10. So, shall we uh, split it up as 21 and 10? Okay, there's a minus sign. So, I have two options here. Okay, so let's add them up. Now, minus 21 plus 10, will it give me plus 1? Definitely, it won't give friends, okay? 21 minus 10, again, will not give me the sum as 1. So, no, case 2 is not working here. So, we have to do case 3, which is our good old prime factorization. So, let's do that in a very systematic way. We'll do it. 
okay so this is the prime factorization now let's check it 2 and 105 okay now remember there is a minus sign also over here now will we ever get the sum as 1 no so there is no need to even add them up okay next option is 2 into 3 which is 6 and 6 into 35 again the difference will not be 1 there is no need to even do the calculation 2 3s are 6 6 5s are 30 30 into 7 again the difference will not be 1 so here I am not getting the necessary factors when I am multiplying the factors in the same order okay so now what we will do is we will mix up the order of multiplication what I mean by that is instead of multiplying 2 into 3 I'm going to try out this combination 2 into 7 so that will give me 14 and which factors are remaining 3 and 5 so 3 into 5 is 15 see so these two factors when I multiply will again give me 210 now I need a minus so let me take these combinations minus 14 plus 15 plus 14 and minus 15 see how we got the factors friends we have just changed the order of multiplication now I want the sum as 1 so minus 14 plus 15 definitely we have got the answer as plus 1 see and plus 14 minus 15 we would have got it as minus 1 which I don't want so the desired factors are minus 14 and plus 15 so let me write this rewrite this as plus 15x minus 14x is minus 35 equal to 0 so again let us complete the calculations so friends this is the solution of the given quadratic equation so I hope that you found this video useful if so do like and share the video consider subscribing to enjoy math and please leave your comments in the comment section below so till we meet again in the next video take care